Did you forget about the times and bounds when I was young? Didn't mean to call you that. But I've learned in front of that, I've turned up now, you do with me. Still about me, please tell me why. I killed my dad in the front yard, <laughs> and I'm stabbing my little brother. I killed him <laughs> all the police cars with a bomb, and you're gone. God. What is a cold open? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tinyk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying saucers. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> Please look at all the signs, fashion your seatbelt, and get ready for the base. July 29th, a cosmic event you won't want to miss. The first live podcast in space by none other than TMG. On July 29th, you can tune in to this very special two-hour TMG live show featuring a DJ set from Spock, a never-before-seen Cody and Noel do, and a live That's Cringe. Buy your tickets now at momenthouse.com slash tinymeatgang. Your ticket to space is just $10, and you can get that now at momenthouse.com slash tinymeatgang. This event is moving faster than a comet. If you blink, you might miss it. <sighs> well, guys. We are here. We are here. <laughs> Why do we both do that? <laughs> well, we are here. We are here. And allow us to... Oh, wait, wait, allow me to call out last episode where everyone goes, Well, I can't believe Noel is showing his cheeks and wow i can't believe he let his ass hang out of his sweater like a 17 year old girl Wait, what do you mean what? because i wore a black sweater and black shorts okay and people said it looked like <laughs> i did like the like like girlfriend shit where i just wore my boyfriend's <laughs> sweater well, yeah, and one was, butt like ass the ariana grande yeah. look <laughs> yeah it's not what i did dude i do not have a boyfriend i'm doing man. that next time <laughs> I'm gonna wear a long ponytail <laughs> and a big hoodie. You're gonna put your hands inside your sweater like an eighth yeah. grader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up, you guys? That's my Ariana Grande impression. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. Thanks. Nailed Thank it. you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got a promo. We got a we got a real promo. This what? right now. Oh yeah. Guys, July 29th. We didn't really make it clear last week. No, we what didn't. What you heard, we kind of, uh, you know, we, we created that trailer. We liked yeah. it a lot, but I think it, we could have been clear on what this actually is. We're doing yeah. a show on July 29th from the ship. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a live show mm -hmm. on momenthouse.com, yeah. which is a fantastic platform. They did Justin Bieber's lot, New, Year's, New Year's Eve show, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. They, and they do like Tame Impala last week. And so now we're doing one on the platform. Mm -hmm. And what is it? Give him, give him a spiel. Give him the spiel. Well, so it goes, you know, it goes like this. The show, uh, it'll be about two hours long, maybe probably more, honestly. Um, it, you know, you saw in the trailer, we're going to have some special guests, some fun stuff. Spock will be doing a DJ set. Uh, we'll be doing a live That's Cringe. We got a very special Cody and Noel do, never before seen. We shot it just for this show. and It's absurd. We learned how to sword fight. 
All right. We may or may not have gotten into it. Yeah. That's who won. Yeah. <laughs> we don't who know. Who won? I don't know. We don't know. I guess you'll have to find out. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we've just, we just got a lot of other fun stuff planned. Uh, we got some sketches in there. Uh, the show is, you know, we're not touring. So we want to do something live and fun and just still get in front of you guys. Uh, so this is our way of doing that. Uh, the show, it'll be up for 24 hours after we do it. And then after that, it's gone and will not be re-uploaded. None of that. Uh, so that means if you're like around the world somewhere, not here, and it's in the middle of the night for you, you can still watch it after it happens. Mm -hmm. It is like a live yeah. show yeah. 5 p.m pacific i think it starts mm -hmm. um and but afterwards you can watch it for 24 hours tickets are 10 bucks that's it yeah. 10 bucks to join us we're gonna have a live chat up we're gonna be interacting yeah. with everyone that's watching i think moment house is a really cool like really cool features for people that are watching these shows yeah they make it really feel real real um intimate i guess you would say the do the dopest part is you can break out into little houses yeah while you're watching a show so you can do like a little voice chat while yeah. you're watching the show which is i think pretty sick so and i found the most absurd video that we're gonna watch yeah for a, like a kind of a live that's cringe it's gonna be a lot of fun i've purposely not watched it so it'll be you know it'll be cool we're gonna throw some some flair in there and all around just i think i think it's gonna be a good time so yeah get a ticket july 29th momenthouse.com slash tiny meat gang and listen while we're in the plug zone right now oh yeah we, we got some merchy we got some new merch too. That's live right now. TMG Big Head Barbecue. It's our new barbecue joint that we're opening up in space. Mm -hmm. So if you're on planet Gorgon, I believe. Yeah, I mean we're we're, we're trying to expand to multiple places. Though it'll be franchise eventually. Yeah, everyone's gonna want a piece of this fucking you know alien rat barbecue. Yeah, we got a this this shirt's actually so sick. Yeah, I love that. I one. love this color scheme. Mm -hmm. TMGPod.com and uh, actually. Here's something fun too. There's a couple. There's a, these are like limited edition. There's a barbecue set. Yeah. So if you're a grill daddy like myself, <laughs> then you can get a TMG branded barbecue set. So that's on TMGPod.com right now. And thank you if you get some. Okay. Out of the plug zone. Yeah. Plug zone. Just, you know, had to, had to talk to you all. Yeah. Because the, the live show just kind of came out of nowhere. And I think people are like, I had a lot of questions in my DMs. <laughs> like, uh, what's like, what? <laughs> Dude, a lot of my friends were like, actually, no, I'm not going to say this. Uh, Nothing. Was it mean? Yeah. So actually, I will tell you. They said, they texted me. They said, dude, are you really going to space? What is this? What a dumbass question. Idiots. We're in space. We're already up here. We've been here for months. <laughs> we figured it out. We've been coming up here casually for months now. Why do you think it takes me three months to reply to your text message? Because yeah. time works completely different up here. And yeah. I'm actually responding on time. Yeah. Fucking dumbass, dude. Dolts. Speaking of, Dolts. Uh, Richard Branson, stop fucking claiming you're coming out here with us, you fucking fake ass wannabe space boy. We did not a real space boy. Yeah, if you really came, if you really came to space, wouldn't have, we have seen you? At yeah, least somewhere we would have seen see shit, yeah. dude. You weren't even close. You go, oh, when I was a little boy. I wanted to be in space. <laughs> Two podcasters did it before you. Yeah, spent all that money to go up there in a stupid ass plane. Your plane <laughs> looks like shit too. <laughs> Fuck is that paper mache ass concept? Couldn't have gotten something cooler. Sick, man. You got to the fourth layer of the fucking, what, what's it called? <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. You did foreplay with Atmosphere. space, you the fucking Atmosphere. virgin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cody's like, what's... Sick, dude. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the... Yeah, what what's is it the again? upper of Ecosystem? space? Ecosystem? No. Atmosphere. Yeah. <laughs> no, whole ozone layer. Sick, dude. You got to the fourth layer of the fucking ozone. Yeah, cool, So man. sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> Like way I to, said, yeah, way to, yeah, space virgin. Yeah, exactly. We went to, we went home, home base. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, home run, first try. So he's like, um, so can I get your AOL screen name? Yeah. That's where you're at with space, dude. We have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hugo. Yeah, this is Hugo. <laughs> it's just like I look at you and I'm like, I just imagine like I just how beautiful you are. And <laughs> go back, <laughs> go back. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> killing him on two shows. <laughs> Shout out to Hugo, man. Leave him alone. He's gonna be alone. the one that we have on too. I know. He's I know. Be the one that we end up being bringing on with. the ship. Yeah, I know. Jesus, look, man. Um, what? Uh, what do we kick it off with? Because a lot of shit has happened. This is actually kind of cool, though. Yeah, it is. It's cool for like a wannabe ass space boy. <laughs> it's like really cool for someone who will never get to the actual wet 
pussy part of space. That's what I'm saying. It's cool for an earthling. Yeah. It's cool if you're for a real a, spaceman like yeah. we are. We're spacemen. Yeah. And that this is not being a spaceman. We got all the way up inside space. Mm-hmm. We're in just sp- like, can I get a little little lick? <laughs> Let me get a little suck. <laughs> nah. Yeah, he's, he, he he received like a little teat squirt of space. Yeah. And we fully he lapped at the milk off the ground. Yeah. That's what he did. We're the one with the jugs. Yeah. We get we got we're in the jugs. Yeah. We're part of the jug of space. Yeah. Well, I mean, where do we start off, man? Space so jugs. Yeah. Space jugs, that's good. That's gonna be our um be space milk delivery service. <laughs> space jugs. Yeah. <laughs> Gets get jugs right to the ship. <laughs> um I was yo, shout out to the boy Train Rex. Uh so, so beautifully someone donated to a stream. They said, Cody Noel talked about it on their podcast, and he so eloquently goes, who? <laughs> Shit. So shout out to you, train wrecks, um, down another milli. So wait, so he lost another mill after that? Apparently he's or, down two. Okay, so he won a million. That's what we talked about. Is mm-hmm. He hit the bonus, he's up a million. Yeah, he and just, since then, he's- He's tweeted, I'm done chasing losses. This game is fucking terrible, absolutely terrible. But that said, I'm winning it all back on Razor. Oh my God! He's going back. Jesus after Christ! So, yeah. so what is it? Yeah, click click that talking about legality. Wait, can he address? I'm actually curious about it. this. Um, illegal, right? That's like, a sick apartment. It's not, right. It's not illegal for the player to play. Right. It's illegal for the or like it's they're not licensed. So like it's they can't if they know that right. Do you understand? What no? It, it's on the casino, right? What's the word I'm looking for? It's it's on the casino to ban players, right? So like if so if you're on a VPN and they think you're from that VPN location, right? Then they're gonna let you play, right? But if if they find out you're in a certain country that, that they're not licensed in, that it's on, the onus is on them to ban you, but it's fine for you. But this doesn't apply to all states in the U.S. This is specifically probably there's probably some states other, but Texas is one of the states. Where online gambling is fine, right? And you're good, but okay. Interesting. Okay. Huh. All Interesting. Right. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that's DoorDash. Wow, DoorDash. The change of the change of season means longer days and more to do. Don't sacrifice your extra hours of daylight by worrying about what you're going to make for dinner. Let mm. DoorDash deliver. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be safely left outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With tens of thousands of restaurants across Canada, uh, yeah, you know, just in case you forgot, you can support your your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like McDonald's, Popeye's, A&W, and Tim Hortons. God, I'd kill for some Tim Hortons. Some little Timmy H. Dang. With hundreds of restaurants in almost every province and territory, you might find a new favorite as well. Bro, a honey cruller from Tim Horton. Oh my God. And an ice cap. Don't even get me started on that. Don't worry about cooking. Let dinner come to you with DoorDash. I love Door. I mean, I would. We literally just put an order right now. What? We just put an order. We right literally now. just did. Yeah. And it's on its way. That guy's um, going to have a hard time getting up here because we didn't really leave instructions on how to get up here, but. Yeah. You got to come up with Bezos, unfortunately. Yeah. So. Uh, for a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TINY. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY. 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. Yeah, okay. Well, we I, we talked pretty much all you need to talk about that last week. Yeah. Um, so what VPN are you using to, <laughs> to play Larry the Fisher? I, dude, when you sent me that shit yesterday and you're like, I'm just addicted to watching slots now. <laughs> it's so, let's not even, let's not even promote this, man. Like, <laughs> it's just like. No, but I sat there for like a full five minutes. Yeah. I was in the middle. I'm pretty sure I was in the middle of the CoffeeZilla video. Oh. I watched that whole thing, by the way, yeah, yesterday. Yeah. I watched the Save the Kids video. So good. So I'm like engrossed in this video. And you sent me that link, Twitch link of this guy, the guy last week that we watched win like 2 million or whatever on that bonus. Yeah. And he's just playing slots. And I was encapsulated by this. <laughs> I was sitting there like, dude, the sounds and the fucking, <laughs> oh, everything. The way it, like the animations, the way yeah. it, like, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is better than a casino. Because it's not your money. 
So here's the here's the thing. There's like a lot of, I mean, especially with that dude. I mean, there's so much controversy about them for sure being like paid to play. He's been at it for years, apparently. That specific guy. So I don't know. It's a very. Uh, I'm well. I was. That's what I was saying. Is I'm saying it's absurd that he's sitting there with half a million dollars in his fucking account. Yeah. Just hundred dollars per spin. Bling. Hundred bucks. Bling. Hundred bucks. Bling. Hundred bucks. Half a million bucks just sitting in an online gamble, online crypto gambling account. Something wrong it's about like, that. Dude, that should be in a cold storage wallet in a fucking safe. Yeah, account. yeah. Or like in a Vanguard account yeah. accruing money exactly. and you just live in Wyoming and yeah. you're like, I'm I'm done. Yeah. I beat the game. Yeah. <laughs> so. So crazy. Anyway, a lot of, a lot of shit has happened though in the last week. What? Uh, I mean, the what? England, the England loss, that shit is like, it's genuinely disgusting how people reacted to that. Yeah, I, so I was... guess I get that like soccer hooligans, like there's gangs and all that. I understand there's that aspect to it, but bruh, like it's a fucking game. Like so basically it, it came down to penalty kicks. And uh, Oh, I know, I watched. It was so intense. Yeah. It was a great game. England was dominating for the first half. First half, yeah. And then all of a sudden Italy completely took over. It's like, bro, it's it's sports, dude. And uh, obviously, that's not like a steaming hot take. But <laughs> yeah, I'm just picturing Ninja right now. Oh, is it, dude? Is it just a is game? Is it just a game? Is it just a game, dude? Yeah, when people are like being like racist towards you and talking about like go back to your country, yeah, it's definitely just a game. Uh, yeah, I feel that. It, bro, people like leaving the stadium like this, like people getting their like the shit kicked out of them. It, I feel so bad for the last guy. And what's, 19 years old. 19 years old. The entire country is watching you. And it's all just on one shot. It's not even like it was that bad of a PK. It's like the goal guess right. And he Yeah, it happens. Yeah. Bro, and also uh um you know, a lot of people blame the coach saying, "Dude, why would you put that much pressure on such young players like yeah they're great players and they carried the team there but like you gotta fucking i don't know but sorry i'm trying to find this video of ninja um oh. <laughs> i mean it was up to the players wasn't it didn't he choose he said he'd do it and oh, maybe. some of the older guys said no oh i'm not sure i mean i just i feel like of course he's like a young he's a young dude he's he's you know, doing ex extremely well in his career. Of course, he wants to keep that momentum. I kind of put that on the rest of the team to be like, look, man, like it's not worth it. Like, you know, like the there's another aspect to this that you have to consider. I feel like they should have been looking out for him, but whatever. It was it, the kind of the cool part was you see like on, you know, all the players like Instagrams and stuff like people, you know, just going to bat for him and like, oh yeah, of yeah. course, yeah, which you know you obviously would expect, but. I just, I, man, yeah. Yeah, it's wild. I wonder if they have to, like, pay for security after something like that uh, happens. Yeah, 100%. Like these guys are just walking around with security teams now. <laughs> have to. Just, have to. It's crazy because there's rioting and, uh -huh. yeah, Bro, fuck the racism, though. That yeah. sucks. I don't that ever, sucks. I don't ever want to hear it from anyone being, like, talking about how people should behave based on their feelings about things like this is how you got over a fucking soccer ball get out of here man yeah anyways just yeah good I game though great game you uh yeah i mean i don't i don't fully understand like i understand soccer in that like a lot of the gameplay is kind of like one-on-one -on -one, like the dribbling like you know i kind of understand that aspect to it i don't fully get the strategy so like i know they're moving the ball around but i'm not understanding like what the plan is so sometimes i would just kind of check out a little bit oh yeah but yeah it's i mean it seemed good from like what i was watching i only ever watched soccer during the world cup but like i've watched every world cup so i mean i've <laughs> i'm pretty experienced yeah. okay yeah 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 i wouldn't really fuck around so you watch england me. lose a lot then i'm just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, get bro. For that oh, one. bro. I'm going to get death threats for right that for one. It, bro. <laughs> You're going to need a security team now. Yeah, man. definitely. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's, I mean, speaking of um, uh, UK, not even UK, but speaking of people from out that way breaking shit. What? What are we talking McConnor about? Conor McGregor? Oh, jeez, Louise. Speaking of people kicking the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. 
Can I try and find this ninja video real fast? Oh, of him being like... Of him playing craps? Do you remember that? I think Sam sent it out to our group. Nah. Oh, man. Oh, where was it? Hold on. Nah, maybe not. Cody's turning into me now. It was just where the so fuck funny. is it? I got it. I got it. it. So I got funny. It. I got it. Where was that? God. All right. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You better be ready for this Saturday, bro. Why? We're shooting this. Saturday. Oh, right, right, yeah. No, but you're in. You're in with this kid right here. And he's got fast fingers. It's a game show. I don't know what it is yet. You haven't told me what it is. Oh, we could talk about it. No, no, no. I want to. I want to be surprised. Fully surprised. Yes. Okay. I don't want to know what it is. Okay. All right. So it's just like the one I'm trying to find is him is a video of <laughs> Ninja playing craps. <laughs> he's just he's playing craps like you play craps, right? Yeah. The dice are in front of him. And he's like picking which ones, and then he's like turning them to make sure he's like doing the superstitious shit. Yeah. It's just like. A dude with blue hair doing that, like Ninja doing that. <laughs> it just looks absurd. Yeah. And then there was like four pictures of him with like fans at the casino. And Hell yeah. Like, dude, I don't know why he looks so awkward doing just normal shit, you know? I, it's just, I think it's that hair and the way we know him. Yeah. We know him as the dude who screams at his computer. <laughs> um, Bro, undefeated. The undefeated UFC champion is leg breaks. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, crazy end to that fight. I was really, it was really like disappointing as a as a viewer, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I get it. He's injured. All the best, speedy recovery, everything like that. I'm saying, as a person who spent sixty, seventy bucks on the fight, yeah, whatever, and you're sitting there, and it's like all this pent up energy, and the first mm -hmm. round's going, and we're all sitting there like on the edge of our seats. I'm sitting there with like eight people. We're all like, oh my god, oh my mm -hmm. god, mm -hmm. oh my god, and then. Oh. Yep. So. Wow. What? So the the last I had seen was he threw a front kick and Dustin's elbow like comes yeah, down. So one. yeah. It so it wraps. Joe posted, I think. Yeah. Good old Joe. There's uh, another video of him kicking the back of Dustin's, Dustin's leg and thigh, it, yeah, and then you kind of see his ankle, mm. kind of take like a weird ankle, a weird angle. Sure. Um, but it has to be that elbow. Maybe. I mean, it, you know, it's because it, he broke the lower half of his tibia. It wasn't even the ankle. Really? Yeah, it was the lower half of his leg. Oh, so that's got to be a super long recovery. Maybe. You know, uh, Chris Weidman was back up within like a couple weeks. Was he? No, not a couple weeks. It was like a, a month or something. Wow. So, you know, what's wild about that whole situation. There was like this, I don't know, I guess special moment because uh, Weidman... He actually, I think Anderson called him like right away after he broke his leg. He's like, look, I'm going to tell you, you're, you're going to be back up and walking in three weeks. Just trust me. And so Weidman has a podcast now and he, did this little, he had this little moment with Anderson where he's just like, dude, it's been on my mind for years that like I celebrated after you broke your leg. And he's like, I just need to like publicly say I'm sorry. And it was kind of crazy because Anderson just cuts him off. He's like... He's like, dude, don't say sorry. He's like, this is fighting. Yeah. You don't even think about this shit when it happens. You could tell Weidman was like really broken up about it. He's like, no, no, no. I have to say sorry. He's like, I'm sorry. Hmm. Chris is like, or Anderson is kind of like, yeah, whatever. Hmm. But there will be no apologies in this scenario. Yeah. Because Connor, he looks sad, bro. <clears throat> Connor? Yeah. He just looks frustrated. He looks like we looked. <laughs> I'm, That's how I looked after. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sitting against the wall. God, why did I pay so many bucks for this shit again? <laughs> again. It keeps happening. I pay for these fights. And that's your nothing happens. And that's your friend that you invite to watch MMA for the third time. <laughs> yeah, They're yeah. like, what do what happened? So what was going through your mind when, <laughs> when you the pay-per-view was totally wasted? <laughs> <laughs> there was no check. <laughs> Fucking yeah. yeah. And I, I wasn't even tapped in on like the I'm I guess kill you and you know your wife's in my DMs. Yes, and all I, that. I I watched the presser on YouTube like the day before, mm -hmm. and then realized oh like there's some serious uh, animosity here mm -hmm. from Connor. Mm -hmm. He yeah. was basically like I'm gonna kill you. You're gonna die in the ring. You're gonna go out on a stretcher. That's what he said. Well, he was... And then Connor exits the ring on a stretcher. <laughs> that was, that <laughs> like, was the first karma, thing everybody bro. said. They were like Mystic Mac. He predicted one thing. Right? Yeah, someone was left <laughs> on a stretcher. 
It just sucks. It was a really good fight up until there, too. He was going to lose. You think so? A hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent. So that's kind of a blessing then? Yeah. He was getting pieced up on the ground. Is he, there going to be a rematch, you think? No, He was. Bro. He was taking those elbows to the no. He was getting beat up. Oh, my God. That looked, what? <laughs> Elena is a big fan of, of savagery. <laughs> now, her thing is like, he was all right. She was like, he was She's like, he, he, he could have did okay. I mean, he he almost got him in like a choke. Yeah, I mean, I th I think Dustin even said like there was a moment where he thought he might have played himself because the choke was pretty tight. So that part, you know, it's not like Connor wasn't all there, but once the elbow started coming down, he just looked sort of like, you know, I don't know. I, I could have seen it going back to that place. And imagine his leg didn't fully break, but it wasn't fully right either. Yeah. The same thing would have happened. His mobility would have been killed and blah, 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 blah. I just think he looks sad because like his legs busted. He's like sitting there talking like a super villain. Your wife's in my DMs. Yeah, baby. Come see me at the after party. You lost, man. You lost. You lost. That they had it scored 10 8. And then Dustin thanks that kid with leukemia in the, yeah. in the crowd. It's just yeah. like, dog. Ugh, man. No, yeah. that was a good thing for Dustin to do. I'm saying sad for Connor. Yeah. He like just, Dustin's clearly like a man. Yeah. And I don't know. He just, I, I, I think that's a wrap. Your wife is in my DMs. <laughs> Your wife. <laughs> I love Liberty's eyes. <laughs> yeah, bro. I yeah. think it's a wrap for Connor. Yeah, it's sad. I want to see a, another. I want to see a rematch. I would watch the shit out of that. I'll do it. I'll buy it again. I, Fuck it. I just feel like his body is not in it anymore. Fighting to me feels like this thing where it's so kind of unnatural right like to to be always ready for combat like i feel like you put your body in a in a particular state where it's like ready to do those things yeah and i this is like this is some superstition shit but i feel when you're in that mode like when you eat like how your body absorbs the nutrients and where it puts that stuff i feel like it's just, it's just doing different things because it it's sort of trained to like at any moment you're gonna like scrap mm -hmm. And I feel with Connor for the last few years, he's only ever done fight camps for the purpose of like getting a bag. But outside of that, he's got like the yacht and the this and then that. So he's just like living his life. Yeah. So I feel at these like intermediate fight camps where for six months he's smoking cigars and doing coke and then, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to train for this fight. Versus like what Dustin said, he's like, I do this shit every day. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Dustin does that every day. Yeah. There's just no way that you can compete with that. Yeah. And I, I feel like he's put enough miles on him that. I don't know. I, I just can't see it. Yeah. I cannot see it. Yeah. So we'll see, you know, maybe, maybe we'll come back, prove me wrong. A lot of people yeah, are I'll, like, I'll pay for that shit again. Just to watch him break his toe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> Dr. Stoppage. He looks at the toe. Oh, he is wiggling a little weird. <laughs> are we going to stop the fight? No. Yeah. What? No. You know, it's no. Fun it's funny about that is that sort of happened to John Jones. Wet Willie. Oh, gross. Dr. Yeah. Stoppage. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Stoppage. Wait, what? No, he just wet willied him. <laughs> we got to stop the fight. Sorry. <gasps> no. No, nah, dude. It's going to be a... It'll be a... It's crazy. Sorry, go ahead. It's going to be like an eyelash thing. Exactly. Ow, 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 ow. Scratch my, my cornea. I scratched my cornea, Dr. Stoppage. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a kick to the... You know... Old school MMA, or like five, six years ago, you could call some people up and be like, yo, man, I'm watching the UFC card tonight. And people will go, I've never really watched that. You're like, bro, come over. And you know, every fight, it's going to be blood. It's going to be savagery for hours. You're like, yeah. Now you can't even, <laughs> you can't even confidently invite people over. Yeah. Because it's, yeah, scratch cornea, you know, someone breaks a tooth, like yeah. just like obscure yeah. shit. Someone, someone has a headache. They have to stop fighting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like, well, because he might have a coma, you know, on, on, early onset coma from getting hit in the head yeah. so much. It's like, I thought this shit was like. That's what you signed up for. Isn't that it, part of it? <laughs> hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, and that's ExpressVPN. Did you know that on Netflix, uh, there's different content in different countries? Mm -hmm. Canada, the UK, they Australia, they have different content depending on where you are. Yeah. And how do you unlock that content? 
with a little something called- How do you break through the geo barrier? With a little something called ExpressVPN. That's right. right? Here's how ExpressVPN unblocks content. ExpressVPN lets you change your online location so you can control uh, where you want Netflix to think you are. Elusive, right? They have almost 100 different server locations, so you can gain access to thousands of new shows. This works on many streaming services, too. Uh, BBC iPlayer, YouTube, and more. And it's so easy. You you just you launch it, you click one button, mm-hmm. and it's on. Bam. And it's then you have access to, you know? Yeah. Um, What's the British show? Birds and the Birds and the Bees. Yeah. That's a British, that's a very famous you're British on, show. You know, if you're on ITV and perhaps you want to watch Love Island... Exactly. You could do that. You could do that. You, you could, could do potentially that. do that. Uh, it's, it's got blazing fast speed. You can stream in HD with zero buffering. Uh, it's compatible with all your devices. That means phones, laptops, media consoles, smart TVs, and more. And it, it encrypts your data. ExpressVPN has added benefit, has the added benefit, sorry, of encrypting your data so you can browse the web securely. Yeah, so stop paying full price for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of the content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash TMG. Uh, if you use our link, that is expressvpn.com slash TMG, you'll get an extra three months free of ExpressVPN. Oh, that's what I was going to say, is that like, it's unreal. Every week, UFC gets bigger and more star-studded and more on everybody's story. It's mm-hmm. crazy. I mean, I, I'm a testament to that. I wasn't really that into it. Yeah. And then we started talking about it more and more, and I started just watching every single fight. I feel like that's the same with everyone. This mm-hmm. is going to be the biggest sport in the fucking world in like two years. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gives a shit about this now. It's, it's kind of wild because I felt that UFC viewership was going down. And now, like, yeah, I think they've done a good job of getting it, you know. Uh, popular again, probably because they got Nelk in the front row. <laughs> they got all those kids find the fight. I can't believe they just posted that video today of Addison Ray oh saying hi to Trump. Because <laughs> I guess there was some, I guess there was some stuff about her when I, I, her voter registration came out or something like that, and she was mm. registered as a Republican. I guess uh, like people gave her a lot of heat for that. Got it. And then she, I guess she said, "No, I'm a Democrat" or something. I don't know the full story, so don't quote me on this at all. Sure. I just literally read a tweet like briefly right before we started this, and then Nelk just like just shamelessly posted that video of her saying hi to Trump. Just and she's like, "Hi, hi. I had to say hi. My name is Addison." Just airing it out. Yeah. Just airing out. Just stirring the pot. <laughs> Crazy. Wow. Yeah. The best part is this whole tweet where she goes, I studied broadcast journalism for three months to prepare for this moment. And her follow up tweet is golden. What does it say? Just, Never mind. Y'all got me fired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> night, night. Is that real? Did she really get a job for the. Was she, they, no, she probably was just like, you know, just like a guest. See, the way I read host. that is she she passed that. Like uh, stand, whatever it's called. What is it called? Step and step and repeat. Stepping stone. She passed the step and repeat and was like, "Oh, this would be a funny photo." Oh. And grabbed the mic. Hey, can I have the mic for a second? And she took the photo. And then that was a joke. As in, like, I went to broadcast school for three months just so I could take this picture. Sure. That's how I read it. Yeah. But I guess people thought it was real, and they were like, "I don't know." Yeah, I don't maybe know. it was real. She got fired. Yeah, maybe she was just gonna. You know, you know the like fighters walking in. It's like, are you excited for the fight tonight? Whatever. Yeah. And. Yeah. Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, can I? <laughs> <laughs> I just had to say hi. <laughs> I just had to say hi. It's pretty funny. But yeah, she got canned. So oh, overall, I mean, there was other, some, there was other, other great moments on the card. Ty Tuivasa knocking out Greg Hardy. That was crazy. Oh, wasn't the two heavyweights going at it? Yeah, that was pretty wild. He gets like wobbled and then he hits him with that, that left. Was, yeah, that guy was a football player? Uh, Greg Hardy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's got some controversies, that man. Does he? Yeah. You know, like some domestic violence situation. Ew. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, it was really controversial Controversial when he got signed because it was like shortly after that. Um, and I've I've watched a lot of people go at Greg Hardy and like no one's ever really brought it to him like that. And then seeing go, Greg Hardy go down like that, just that, that man, Bam Bam, has got a rocket launcher in his left hand. Yeah. Shit is crazy. Dang. It was, and the Sugar Show or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. He fought too, right? Yep, Sean O'Malley. Isn't he kind of like bigger than that, fighting so early on in the card? Um, he, He's a good draw, but I think it was his opponent had dropped out. So, I don't know. Maybe he was still scheduled for that time. Uh, but it happens, you know. Some, some big fighters, they just fight a little bit earlier. 
Okay. But yeah, he uh, he punched the shit out of that dude's head. Yeah, I know. I saw some clips. I was like, Jesus Christ. That dude, you know, shout out Matino, man. The rep Warrior. eventually was like, this guy's got a headache. We got to end yeah. the fucking yeah. thing. But I, sub- I understood in that moment. I was like, Jesus. When people were like, oh, Joe was like, you got to let him finish. You gotta, I'm like, I don't know, man. 250 At punches? At the expense of the later half of his life. Yeah. At the expense of him... You know, being sane when he turns 40, we should probably... After he took, like, a, a one, two, lean back, five uppercut that was so clean. That uppercut was brutal. He just... <laughs> his hands came up. And he's... Puh, 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 puh. And then, you know, Ir- Irv Dean stops and he's like, what the fuck? I was, I was fine. I was... It's like, you're not fine. What the fuck? I was in... The, I have a fast pass. <laughs> Dog, what? You're not at Disney World right now. What the fuck, what man? The fuck, I, man? I, or, I, I wanted a turkey leg, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem? I ordered beans. <laughs> They're like... <laughs> I wanted guac with those chips. <laughs> Let me speak to your manager right now. So, so, I don't know if you know this, man, but you're in a fight. <laughs> yeah, so... you know, I mean, that guy's tough as shit, though. Yeah. You gotta, gotta give it to him. He, man, I hope his nose is okay. Um, speak and uh, you know, in in the spirit of competition, I just have to say, drum roll, please. Your boy grew, grew some pubic hair. Nice, <laughs> dude. Thank you. That actually brings us to the sponsor of today's this episode, the, the Lawnmower 4.0 <laughs> by the Manscapada. <laughs> No. Nah. Manscap- Manscapade. Manscapade. <laughs> Manscapades. <laughs> Manscapade. Oh man. That's the that's gonna be actually what we rebrand the podcast as. Manscapades. The Manscapade guys. Yeah. That's like when you go out <laughs> like, you know, night out with your boys. Mm-hmm. You know, that's some manscapades. Yeah. When you get some shots with your boys. Hello, you man. cheering, chanting. That's a big manscapade for sure. Mm-hmm. Matching t shirts. Matching t- matching button downs. That's manscapade activity. Yeah. Bachelor parties. Mm-hmm. Slamming beers. Manscapades. What else? <laughs> uh, Bowling. Yeah, bowling. Bowling is... Bowling. I love a good manscapade night. Playing at pinball. Bowling center. <laughs> Playing pinball? Yeah, that's a manscapade. Um, what's, the, what's the shit in a bar where you slide a hockey puck over sand? Shuffleboard. Shuffleboard. Big time... <laughs> Grilling. Barbecue set. Grilling. That's a manscapade right there. <laughs> Smoking meat. Manscapade. <laughs> what? Smoking meat. Sorry. Smoking like, you know, ribeyes and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about sucking dick. <laughs> That's also kind of a manscapade. That is a manscapade. Could be. <laughs> That's, we should just, we should white label a uh, grinder, but call it manscapades. Yeah. What are you doing tonight? I got a manscapade tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I I had my big race this weekend. And the big race, Twice? your boy took fourth. Nice. I was on the edge of that three. I I was tasting it. My bumper was on that ass. Made a little mistake though. So oh, I was I bumping so uglies. Much. I was bumping. I had my nose. I was bumping pubes. I was eating that ass. <laughs> I can taste the dog. Yeah, lap lap five. I'm. I can smell it. <laughs> Nose in that crack. I was nudging him. Come on, what are you? You nervous, homie? What are you, gonna, what are you, what are you gonna do? Smell your farts right now, dude. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? His engine smoking. Come here. He's like, oh god, oh god. You feel my lips on your ass right now? <laughs> <laughs> that the go karts don't actually have an engine noise. That's just each driver going. Able to smell the ass, yeah. So I'm smelling the guy's ass in front of you. <laughs> How many people were there? How many people were racing? Uh, so it was actually a lot of it, breaking down my classes. There were a ton of classes there, it was like a lot, uh, a lot of people. What was hilarious was Alina had you know, I talk about carding and stuff, and she understood it, and she understood it as a hobby, but. She didn't fully understand like how the classes broke down. So when we got there, she just saw a bunch of little kids and she was like, are you like racing seven year olds? <laughs> I just didn't say anything. Cause I'm like, this is kind of funny if she thinks I'm going to go out there and race like yeah. children. And then she finally 
so the best part was there was a vintage class and that was yeah. all like older guys driving carts. That shit, I, I could only describe it as watching the King of the Hill pilot. Okay. So I'll get to that in a second. Okay. But so when Alina saw those guys racing, she's like, oh, okay, like there's people your age yeah. here. <laughs> so, you know, but I mean, as far as drivers, man, there had to be at least like, fuck, um, 60? 60 drivers and you came fourth? Oh, no, no. So in my class, there was 10. Okay. I, I came fourth. Um, but yeah. And they were all racing. Every class was racing each other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. So the, so I went to this like little driver meeting and it's just like if you're new or whatever. And I noticed it was like a lot of kids and then these old guys and then no one who looked my age. So I assumed that anyone who is close to my age, you know, like 22, just out of college because I'm yeah, 22. Yes, right. Of yeah. course. Yeah. Just, yeah, I'm 22. Mm -hmm. In case anyone didn't know that, yeah, I'm 22 years old. Right. So anyone who's 22 probably wasn't there because they're young and 22, and like they're just they don't need to. They know what's up. Yeah, but no, nah, I just assume like they race, so I just kind of felt like a bozo. But I'm still glad I went because I observed the best shit. <clears throat> hey guys, we'd like to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, a very, a very familiar one for us, Stamps.com. Y'all know Stamps.com. Yeah, look. Look, life is returning to normal, right? We're going to live music shows. Uh, you know, we're going to patio restaurants. We're traveling yeah. again. Yeah. It's fun. But what do you don't want to do? Go what do you not want to go to the post office? Yeah, exactly. Never, never in ever, no ever. Why would you want to do that amongst all the other fun things we're doing right now? Oh, wait, I got to stop by the post office. <laughs> Dude, we're going to a buzzing patio restaurant right now. Seriously? I have to... I, I, no, I got to go ship something. Dude, we're going to a buzzing patio restaurant. What are you doing? Should have used stamps.com. You should have used stamps.com. You know, because some parts of normal life, you know, just they're, they're just not that fun. And stamps.com uh, will help you, you know, maintain that level of fun because you can skip trips to the post office and save on postage, all right? Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less, a lot less with discounted rates from USPS and UPS. Right, Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year and enables you to go to those buzzing patio restaurants. Exactly. Yeah. Look, it's we've used it before and mm -hmm. we go to buzzing patio restaurants all the time. Yeah. And and so it's it's been a godsend in yeah. terms of optimizing the amount of time you're spending at buzzing patio restaurants. Mm -hmm. Stamps.com brings the same U.S. Postal and U.S. UPS shipping services right to your computer. They make it easy for small businesses to mail and ship without needing to take a trip to the post office. You can print official U.S. postage and shipping labels 24-7 without having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. All you need is your computer and a standard printer. Once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's that simple. Yeah, so stop wasting time going to the post office. Go to stamps.com instead. There's no risk. And with our promo code TMG, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. Again, that's stamps.com, promo code TMG. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. So the two guys, like, directing the race, you know, they got, like, missing teeth and spots, and they just look like caricatures okay. the race director has a bright red t-shirt on he's red as a tomato ginger hair <laughs> like that's a red man yeah he's no he's a red man jean shorts and sandals okay and you know he's just got the all right make sure your car's got weight you know he's just he got talking like this yeah. swinging his hand like he's cutting meat okay he's got the attitude okay he's like vintage glass let me talk to you and this pack of these old guys you know, one guy, like, his teeth are too big for his lips, and they're, like, all awkward angles, so he's just, like, <laughs> and he's just got this low look in his eyes, just, like, and so the race director comes over, and he's, like, all right, guy's got to be Yamaha, because I guess they have to drive a specific engine. He's, like, okay. I want, I, there might be something different under the top, but it's got to be a Yamaha, and then, uh, and then one of the guys stands up, tall alien looking dude long ass fingers he's like we were all talking and we don't want to do the s pattern back there we want the right hand sweeper a couple other guys are like yeah we want the sweeper and then the guy goes the race director he's like well i can't, can't do the sweeper i'm, I'm short staffed today because you see we got cones out there we got to move them if you guys want to do the sweeper and i don't have anyone to move them back <laughs> so i just i can't you know and then uh 
then you got some other guys who are like, leave it as it is. We don't want to do the sweeper. It's fine. <laughs> and then the guy with the teeth, he's like, let's take a vote. Oh, Jesus, fuck. I'm like, these motherfuckers, they have that, like, it's just that constitution built into them. Yeah. Like, it's always, let's take a vote. Yeah, yeah. And then it's just, like, on the fly, like, mutiny right there. Like, then it's like, oh, in favor of the sweeper, raise your hand. And there's a couple of them. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, was- you're a sweeper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I sweep your wife, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 So I'm watching this whole thing go down. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? They're about to write like a racing constitution like right here. Yeah. Like this is going to be civil war before they even get to the cars. So then the race director is like trying to settle them down. He's like, well, okay, I-, I can't promise nothing, but we'll try. We'll try. We'll try. Hey, 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 we'll try. And everyone calms down. And he kind of steps away. And then this guy <laughs> with, a, he's with a ponytail. I was, I was like for a second. I was like, Cody. Let's uh, go. No, this dude had a long ponytail, a sun hat, really fast glasses, you know, aerodynamic okay. as fuck, small ass mouth. He goes really up to the guy. Iris? Yeah, basically. <laughs> okay. He goes up to the dude, the, he's like, we'll move the cones. The race director's like, well, I, I can't have you out there. Who the fuck are you, dog? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we'll it's move. Random them. dude from the crowd. <laughs> we'll, yeah, we'll move. I'll move the cones. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Why does your breath smell like that? <laughs> I've been licking the tires. I've been eating the dirt. <laughs> Tastes quite good. So yeah, I, I witnessed that whole thing, and I was like, I don't even know what else is going to happen today, but that. So did it? Did that guy move the cones? <laughs> so here's what's fucking hilarious. So the way it goes is like you have a couple rounds of practice, and then you qualify, and then it's the actual race. Okay. I have to call out like watching them drive was so funny because their carts are built a little bit different and they look like they're out of the fucking 60s. Like the way that their seating position, everything, and they're all way too big. <laughs> that was one part is like there's a minimum weight for the cars and then I just, they had to hit this bit. I know they do this bit every time. Guy goes, vintage, make sure you're you're up to weight. All of them grab their stomachs. Yeah. We got our weight right here. <laughs> They're all like, it was like a cartoon. They're all like smacking their stomachs in unison, like, yeah, we got our weight right here. <laughs> Woo! Beer! Beer! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You also drink beer? Yeah. <laughs> this is from beer. <laughs> I got mine from drinking beer. Beer, same. Yeah. I got mine from drinking beer. And, and, and. Oh, my wife doesn't like this. <laughs> she doesn't like when I drink the beer when and I put it in my beer. Belly. But I tell us for the go karts. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so whatever that shit happens and then so we're watching them drive and there's one one grandpa man i'm like where are your kids why they need to get him out of there oh no you know he just he, his suit is <laughs> all just the race starts and the camera like pans back and he's going the opposite way <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, oh, I mean, it was like it, what is uh, that guy doing so dude that's what i'm getting to so <laughs> He already, he was a, you know, he's a thick boy. Okay. From the beer. From the beer. Okay. Because he so likes he made, beer. He made weight. Yeah, he made weight. <laughs> okay, he had the weight. He had it right and there. And beer gut. Yeah. From the beer. And so when you drive carts like that type of cart, you you want to break as late as possible. But sometimes when you do that, like, you need to keep the engine alive. So sometimes you'll stab the throttle to, like, keep it running. So this dude, like, <laughs> his suit was silver. He looked like a fucking astronaut. He's... He's old, so he's breaking way too early because he's, you know, he's afraid of fucking his shit up. And so the cart would like basically die going into the turn. And then he's like sitting there like stabbing it. <laughs> so the cart's like, ming, 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 ming. And there, I think that's why he probably was like, we want the sweeper because he couldn't do all the fucking turn. <laughs> so then he gets to the race. Bro, they're coming up to the sweeper. All right. And. We're all waiting, like, what are they going to do? <laughs> and half their dementia kicks in. Some of them go do it, <laughs> and some of them don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and everyone is like, oh, God. Like, everyone now is like, do they take their medicine? Do they know that they're, oh, Jesus. <laughs> all the people are out on track, like, great. Now we have five people with dementia. I thought we took a vote, God damn. I thought we were doing the sweep. We did vote. We voted for the sweeper. No, we voted for the S-turn. <laughs> Just goes right into a tree. 
<laughs> the guy in the silver suit. Yeah. I thought we voted on going reverse. <laughs> <laughs> The, well, the guy in the silver suit's way off in the distance, <laughs> yeah, off the course. Yeah, he's in the middle of the yeah, desert. Yeah, it's, it's just, he's Wait, the... where's Jerry? Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. He's driving into the wall. <laughs> so I got to get Jerry. <laughs> People running after him on foot. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, no! <laughs> Jerry, no! He just dis- he just dr- goes over the head. <laughs> I was just, say, just over a cliff. Oh no, Jerry! <clears throat> I was- they run to the edge of the cliff, and he's driving along the ravine, <laughs> perfectly fine. How the? F- oh my god, dude! I was waiting for <laughs> Jerry. It to happen. Jerry, Jerry. He's like, we voted for the S turn. <laughs> this is <I'm>... the sweeper, <laughs> boys. I'm going for the sweeper. I'm coming to you, Lord. I'm going to do the sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> like some of those dudes, I halfway expected like one of them to just put their oxygen tank on the cart <laughs> and just hook in their nose and just fucking, let's go, man. That shit oh, man. killed me, man. And so, yeah. That happened, and I was like, I don't even Ooh. give a fuck what my race result is, because that's the funniest thing. <laughs> Seeing them just all do the wrong thing <laughs> was so fucking good. <laughs> oh, man. And that's then, so funny. I could see the race director getting so frustrated yeah, at that, just too. Did, no, I, oh, now we got to move the cones. <laughs> <laughs> fucking piss, right? I can move them. <clears throat> Not you. <laughs> Come on, let me smell the cones. Why are you naked? Let me smell the, let me smell the cones, brother. <laughs> yeah, so then that happened, and then yeah, obviously I go out to race. And <clears throat> the funniest thing of the whole night is, so after the race director meeting, I, you know, I'm making a little video about this, but I walk off like from the meeting, and I heard a guy behind me register for the senior class like earlier in the day. So I'm walking past him. He's unloading his cart, and I go, I'm like, oh, you racing senior today? He's like, yeah, man. He, he's got it like a – he's Brazilian. He's got an accent. He's like, it's my first race. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm like, me too. He looks super just regular. He's just jeans and T-shirt. He's there with his buddy, and his buddy has like a racing team across his shirt. So I'm thinking like, oh, maybe he's like me. Like he's just picking this up as a hobby, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like, I'm just here to have fun today, man. I'm like, yeah, me too, honestly, whatever. So I walk away. Come back down like for the qualifying round and uh, drop my cart on track. And then <laughs> I turn around. Oh, no, this is practice. Sorry. This fucker is walking up in a clean as shit white suit. He has Enterprise <laughs> stamped across the front of his suit. Okay. So he's got so many sponsors. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about first race? I'm like, you do this all the time. And he just, he just, I couldn't, I couldn't believe like at this level, even still they're trying to fuck with you. Oh yeah, man, it's my first race. And he comes in this beautiful ass suit. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like he's still game. Oh yeah. He's fully He was like hustling you? I didn't know. But I was like, why would he tell me? Oh, my suit was completely empty. So like he had no reason to like bullshit me. Weird. Yeah. And he ended up winning first for the whole event. I was just like, I, I, yeah, I don't know. He was fast as shit. That's weird. I it just it blew my mind. I was like, it ain't that serious. Do you think he was hitting every dude same conversation before <laughs> my first race? Yeah, my first race. What is this all about? <laughs> it's my first race. <laughs> I wouldn't really see me as a threat because it's my first race. So if you see me coming up on your right, it just yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm not gonna pass you probably. It's, it's the kind of thing race. where even if I was ahead of you, I wouldn't know how to keep it. Exactly. So I've never done this before. Yeah, first race. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Get down on track. He's just so lightning quick but yeah you know I my got- coach my diving coach said he used to do that he he was he was like an olympic level athlete and diving is like one of those things that are, it's like people have you you wait a long time between because you dive and then you got to wait for the entire other right you know everyone else in the competition to dive so the whole time you're playing mental games and so people get into these whole superstitious yeah. routines where they do certain things mm-hmm. and he never was a head case he was always super composed so he used to fuck with other people oh. and he would watch their routines and then he'd purposely go walk like where they walked and just be in their shit and they're like what the fuck and he would like just derail people like that <laughs> that's great oh it's 
evil. Well, evil, but it's great. So, you know, <laughs> I heard a very direct story about a very well-known driver. <laughs> not going not gonna to name names. <clears throat> but this dude. Louis? Huh? Louis? No, not Louis. Okay. Of, of that caliber, though, um, in his karting days, obviously you're starting young as a kid. And I guess what he used to do was he would go buy candy from the store and then he would go to the race and he'd you know, be very personable and charming to all the other kids. And he's like, I have candy. And all the kids would go eat his candy and he'd never eat it. So in karting, you have three heats. So he would sugar crash him. <laughs> that's awesome. For those next two races. Fuck, that's really good. And it's like, I'm like, that is genius. Yeah, that's genius. How are you thinking of that at like seven years old? Yeah. I'm, and I'm like, you know, <clears throat> to that point, the dude told me like, yeah, that's how early like the mental game of like driving and shit starts. Cause like, yeah, you're just sitting around waiting. Yeah. So you're, you know, you're fucking with people. You want some carne asada fries? Yeah. I'm not yeah, going to yeah. eat these. <laughs> Oh, I'd love that. I would yeah. fall head first for that. Yeah. <laughs> for that shit. <laughs> yeah. Do some carne asada fries. I already had those for breakfast, but I'm down for another one. <laughs> Climbing into your car. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel good. You guys, I'm I'm having some vomiting. <laughs> I've got vomiting. I've, I've got, got vomiting. vomiting. Yeah, I got a pretty uh had a pretty dramatic one up pass because basically the kid who started in third the dude in fourth and myself we were faster than him so it was like the two of us trying to push through and i was trying to jump them both to get to third maybe didn't go out that way but yeah past that motherfucker it just felt Woo! Did yeah. you give one of these nah nah i stood up in my cart yeah. and st kept steering with my toe yeah just one toe and I pulled my dick out and I waved it at him. Yeah. What do you think of that? Yeah. Oh, how's it feel? <laughs> Fifth place, how's it feel? And that's how I drove for the rest of the race. Yeah. Flipping him off. That's, that's how showing him my nuts. <laughs> you actually only did the S curve instead yeah. of the. Yeah, instead of the right hand sweeper. Yeah, instead of the sweeper, yeah. No, that's what pissed him off that I was able to do that S curve like a fucking ballerina. And you're pissing on his windshield. Yeah. Oh, it looks like you're not can't even see. missing a drop. It's like you can't even oh, see. Oh, sorry. He's like, ah, he's got fucking pee on my shit. <laughs> How's it feel? Shit. <laughs> pee all over my face. <laughs> that's, the, that's what the grandpa was thinking that he was doing. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, he's at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fucking midnight and there's a search <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> and he's fully concussed. Sitting in his spaceman suit. <laughs> the other thing, sorry, I have to call this out. There was a dude there. I'm not exaggerating. This motherfucker was seven eight. Oh, jeez, gigantic. Liam? No, bigger than him. <laughs> okay, he would make Liam look his age. That's how big this dude was. This fool was driving <clears throat> like his knees were at his head. Like weird hobby to pick as I, a dude that tall. I, I <laughs> fucking so. Someone was like, "What the fuck is this fool doing here? Like, play football?" Yeah. What? I I don't know. That that dude was huge. Um, doesn't help you in karting. Doesn't help to be a thick boy. Yeah. You want to be light. Yeah. So you know. Anyways, that was that was my weekend. Took Congrats, four. man. Thanks, bro. Yeah. That's big. We gotta get you a little fourth place trophy. Yeah, fourth place trophy. We Homemade. gotta start making like turn this <clears throat> into a trophy case. You know, mm -hmm. we got one up there already. No, we got two. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, I got to bring one home to add. Yeah. <laughs> to some obscure ass <laughs> yeah. race somewhere. But I mean, the last I'll say is the thing I want to do is fucking, I want to get a legend car. You have to be a legend to drive it. Oh, do you? We'd be qualified. A ledge? Yeah, you got to be a ledge. Yeah. Absolute ledge. Oh, that's not like a technical term. I thought it was like a driving term. But you're saying you got to be like a legend. Yeah, you got to be a legend. Yeah, legend, dude, this legend. Like, you got to be the GOAT. Literally just take a clip from you at the surf ranch. When yeah. you go to buy it, you just show them that on your phone. They'd yeah. be like, yeah, this a ledge. Yeah. Which one do you want? Some dude was talking to me, and I was like, yeah, I surfed the ranch. And he's like, that's sick, dude. Did you meet the goat? And I was like, what? And he's like, did you meet the goat? And I was like, there's a goat there? He's like, no, like the goat. And I was like, the surf ranch goat. No, I didn't meet any goats. Uh, maybe it was just gone when I was there. And he was like, no, like Kelly Slater, dude. And I was like, oh, the goat. And then that's when Sorry. you're like, yeah, definitely met the goat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you guys were both back in, slotted in that conversation. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so slotted. Yeah, I got fucking packed. I pack myself in a barrel. Uh, oh, yeah. shut, shut. That's what I hope racing turns me into. What? I hope I like get deeper into racing. My brain gets scrambled from so much driving. Then when I talk about the driving, I'm like, yeah, I absolutely slid this well, weekend. Swear. I can't remember if I was sideways, guy number 44, guy that I learned it. <laughs> Ripped him up. <sighs> uh, yeah. Did you meet the goat? No, I didn't meet I didn't any meet goats. The... No. Well, dude. how big was the goat? Because <laughs> maybe it was in his... What, what color? And they just run around the ranch? Like they let them... Is it wild? Is it a wild goat? <laughs> are, they, are there goats in Lemoore, California? No. That's crazy. Like, is it like the mascot of the th of the ranch? Is there like a farm? Does he like bring the? Goat? Is it a petting zoo type deal? Because I didn't see any petting zoos. Okay. No, fool, Kelly Slater. Uh, the goat. You mean the goat? I ain't talking about the goat. Oh yeah. And it's like no, dude. I mean Kelly Slater. As he says that shit, your eyes like roll like dude the <laughs> god <laughs> your eyes fully do like a like a <laughs> like a full turn in your head they just come from the bottom of your eyes just <laughs> the god <laughs> yeah i'm a, the god all right let's watch carrot top the dick one time before we end this episode oh bro and speaking of dicks we gotta watch this dude get his dick kicked in hold on okay let's watch that let's watch this we're gonna have to blur this pretty hard because it's just a full-on man dick so we're gonna have to blur it but <laughs> man dick as opposed to a rhino dick yeah exactly or the or a goat dick this for is example. a goat this is a human dick no wait a goat dick would also be a human dick because oh, that's Kelly that. Slater's dad. That's how I run. Anyway, it's fun seeing anybody running this morning. Now I'm going to go home and take a nap. You're <laughs> watching, dude. Tomorrow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to find the the other one. All right. Bro, you're missing Carrot Top's dick. All right, dude. run it back. Run it back. Run it back. That's how I run. Anyway. Flapping it out. Flapping it out. I don't. What's the point of that? No, video? dude, it's a prop. Oh, it's a prop. It's a prop. It's a prop. I mean, I mean, yeah, he posted that on Instagram too. Insane. Not even like Twitter. That's allowed. Instagram is not even allowed to post, and he posted that Just on Instagram. Thirst trapping. I guess. Hey, you want to see my? Man, someone really had to. <laughs> I thought someone screenshotted it. it was like, <laughs> is it close up? Yeah, zoom. There it is. There it is. Guys. In case you missed it. In case you missed it, you guys. His dick was in that video. Speaking speaking of dicks, man. Look at this. Okay. Just here we go. We can finish. Yeah. Watch this. this. Yeah. Oh no! Restart this and unmute that. You need to hear this from the. Yo, keep Am going. Let's see how many you can do. Uh, 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 oh. No, no, this could be its own video. How many you can take from bed? Keep going. That's ten. How long is this TikTok? Oh shit. How the hell do you do this? Ten more. Ten. The camera guy likes it too. Seven, six, five. Oh, oh, oh. Okay? Right, four, yeah. four, four more. Yeah, keep going. I think I'm done. <laughs> As fucking semen just leaks <laughs> from his shorts all did over say, the ground. Did you say, I think I'm done? He said, I think or I'm that? done. Yeah. He said, I think I'm done. Yeah, I'm spent. What? I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I just finished. <laughs> I'm fi I mean, I'm finished. I'm finished. I mean, I'm done. I'm all done. <clears throat> Dude, that first one is so rough. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> vasectomy in the 1500s. <laughs> <laughs> the camera dude i love he's like so just just completely ignorant of what's actually happening yeah dude yeah dude see how many you can do do 10 more do 10 man this could be its I'll own do video 15. I'll, do, I'll do fucking I'll as do many 25. i'll do as many as it takes <laughs> i'm almost there what i'm almost there no dude come on take 10 more man it could be its own video come how on this could be its own take? video 10 more dude <laughs> 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 Dude, this guy literally got a kick job, man. He got the cum kicked out of his balls, bro. <laughs> he, he actually finished every time. He had he 30 the orgasms there. Semen kicked out of his balls. Bro, run it, run it back. I just got to hear that first one again. <laughs> Dude, when he goes turbo mode. Wait, five more? Also, what's with the... Keep going to see how many you can do. <laughs> I just realized that's Spock kicking oh, oh, nuts. Yeah, it is. That's Spock. Oh, bro. Those karate hands he does before he fucking lasers his nutsack. <laughs> no, no, this could be its own video. How many you can take from bed? Keep going. That's ten. <laughs> he kicks him so hard. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a dope idea for our TikTok account. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a great idea for the next Cody and Noel do. Teardrop return. <laughs> 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 You need to watch the, you need to, you need to watch the live show to get that one. Yeah, yeah, that's an inside joke. Oh my god. I'm dead, bro. I'm dead. God. You guys want to know what it feels like to get hit as hard as I can? <laughs> I'll you give me a killing cup. blow. Give, you, give me a killing <laughs> blow. Yeah, your cup's on, right? <laughs> give me a killing blow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh, fuck. Jesus Christ. All right, guys. What do we got coming up in the bones? It doesn't even matter. This dude got kicked. The cum kicked out I of think his balls actually, in for the, camo shorts. For the bone zone, we're gonna watch that we're just for gonna, an hour. Yeah, we're just no. We're, I think for the bone zone, we're just gonna kick each other's balls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're gonna get two people out. We're gonna beam two strangers up here and be like, "Hey, man, you wanna make a hundred bucks?" <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Coming up in the bone zone, Ace Family's house getting uh, foreclosed Close on. Face K's apology, and Coda, Cody is finally a sauna boy. Yeah. Oh, indeed I am. Yeah. Let's. We're gonna go over what epiphanies I had in the sauna. Mm -hmm. And Dana White. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>